This is Fight Fighters, and literally as I'm doing this, I'm looking up the code on my phone here. Because uh, <laughs> I realized, like, oh, I didn't get that yet. So, <coughs> interesting curio. Uh, yes? Maybell. <laughs> no. Um, to insist. <laughs> Cool whip. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was the first episode Doug showed me because I, I don't know it was a month ago. Yeah, I just, like, I, I just said you, you have gotta to see, see the show. show. You have to see Gravity Falls. I said, Hermie Gur, Gravity I said the, at the very least, you yeah. gotta see this episode. Um, he was episode like one of those five-year-olds who had just discovered Pokemon back in like 1999 or something. Yeah, yeah except yeah, it's so not so Pokemon. Many. It's I Gravity Falls, and it's so much better. Yes, yeah, so it reminded me of our cousins back when they were younger. Yeah. They were just like, no, this is amazing. And we were just like, I don't know. <laughs> but so he was like that and having no reference. And I had a number of fans that was like, you have to watch Gravity Falls. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll watch it. And that's like, yay! That's exactly and what I did. It's exactly what he did. And uh, then he put it on. And the first thing I said was, what's with that kid's voice? <laughs> and then and this then, is awesome. Yeah. And then the second thing I said was, all right, it had me at this joke. And then the third thing I said was 80s awareness. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Pretty much three minutes in, I think I was sold. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I was ever turning to you, I was like, shit, something else I have to watch. <laughs> um, TV shows so, yeah. are almost like a hassle now, and that's funny. That's, they that's are, a first world it's, problem. It's, it's like, <laughs> such a commitment. <laughs> then I have to watch it, and then if I miss an episode, other people are like, but you didn't see the episode, and like, God, it sucks to live in America. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, so we have we, awful people. <laughs> but yeah, we have another episode, kind of based on the love triangle again. But the outcome is so funny that this it kind of doesn't matter. Love triangle episode, I really liked because the jokes were so well written. I didn't give a shit that it was because the love triangle aspect of it led to these great jokes yeah. that were all based around Street but, Fighter. Yeah, and, and this is obviously, you know, obviously based on Street Fighter, and the, the attention to the detail uh, that they get, like, you know, stand still, this is as still as I can stand. I mean, it's, it, you know, it, when he goes up in a tree and he can't look up. <laughs> when he sees a car and he beats the crap out of it to get prizes, and... No, it... I think that's what I love is like, I think the 80s awareness going on, particularly in this episode, but there are other episodes as well where it's like you can tell these guys are aware of like the 80s, 90s culture and are able to tap into it. It's really entertaining for old guys. Like well, and what I like, you know, we had a whole, it, it, like I need to explain this episode, you know, uh, Robbie says he's going to get in a fight with Dipper and somehow this oh, video I was I watch this episode, like, who's that douchebag? Why does he have my name? <laughs> And he, he gets this video game character to come out that's a Street Fighter-ish character, and he thinks he can use him to win the fight, and sure enough, the character is insane because he only lives in the video game world of, like, ultra-violence, and things backfire, and he tries to, you know, it, Dipper at the end kind of takes a beating, which I was like, wow, you know, it's very good for us, you know, everybody takes a beating sometimes. <laughs> which again, I'm kind of like, I, well, you know what the important thing is? You kept your mouth shut. Yeah, like, hey, 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 first court case. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like the fact that it's like, on the one hand, I'm like, well, it is pretty violent, but then on the other hand, it's like he, he kind of stood up to it. He had to take the consequences and responsibility for his actions. And, and yeah, he takes a beating. You know, but he also used his mind to get around it, and it worked out. And again, I like that they they follow through with when somebody has to go all the way with something. It's not like, you know, okay, I've learned this, but I don't have to accept the punishment of it. You know, because it happens a lot, particularly with Disney uh, in the past. And they don't do that here. They follow through with it, and I really like that, even if it is kind of violent. Um... <laughs> and I'll, I'll say this, too. The only major thing I have with this episode that is... A good thing, in my opinion, we had that one where it was a Dipper versus Manliness or something like yeah, that. Yeah. It was it was funny, but it was this very kind of obvious forced commentary. I think it's kind of the same commentary here, but I think done a lot better because I think there's always this thought that like, it, you know, well, you're just upset because this is too feminine and too pink and you're bad mouthing that anything can be too anything. And I think sort of the Street Fire element that's just a good example of like something that's too violent, too masculine, too all this stuff. I mean, because this character clearly doesn't think all he knows is violence and honor and, and just these great big cliches, and it can show how that can be pushed way too far as well. 
Um, and I think just that same message Wait, with the said Manlius. honor and you didn't say like Dante Bosco? Honor! 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 <laughs> honor! Um, and I, I just think that message was done a little bit better here. Uh, I, are you keeping an oppa in your pants? Yes. Don't make me go back down to now! Appa sounds like Mr. Bill. <laughs> yeah, why would it sound? Small Appa sounds like Mr. Bill. Um, so I, I just like the way they, they do that. I, I thought it was a little bit more subtle here. Well, the message in that element was a little bit more subtle. It maybe even wasn't intended, I just, but I thought it came across well. Honestly, the only thing I have to say is you can thank this episode for these vlogs, because it was this episode he showed me first that got me hooked. I'm like, all right, I'll do this. Yeah, and... Um, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I do have a strange story unrelated to this episode, but it reminded me of first seeing the show. So this isn't actually the first I saw of Gravity Falls. I did come over one time before that, I think, to preview the NC before we uploaded it. And you had the episode with um, the president, the president on. Yeah. And it was a scene where they were on the train. And I forget the exact line of dialogue, but it, it was something like, you know... But you can't do that. It was like, of course, again, like I married a weasel once or something. And I was just like, my jaw was just on the married ground. I was just, yeah. <laughs> I was staring at it. Yeah. And I'm just like, this makes no sense. And then Doug's like, oh, watch it. And trust me, it will. And I'll be damned if I, I had forgotten about that moment. And when we hit that moment again on top of the train with the crazy pantsless president and everything, I'm just like, wow. This totally makes sense now. <laughs> For and the most that, part, as And that really person, scares yeah. me. Because <laughs> I was just watching it now, and I was like, yeah, I have no questions about this scene. Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> so, in context. In context, yeah. That is the glory of this show. Um, so, no, I, I did this episode's a lot of fun. We, we love Street Fighter growing yeah. up, and we love the pixely animation and stuff like that. I think we're not... Uh, that, I think, was the coolest thing, the way that they made it look 16-bit. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he wants to give him some food. Yeah. He's like, put it on the ground! <laughs> it's on the ground. He walks over it to consume it. <laughs> it hey, even the cutscenes, like, you know, with the white screens and everything, how clever. It was so I have clever. to wonder something, because I remember when you showed it to me the first time, I thought the same thing, which is, we grew up in the 80s and, and the early 90s, how many kids born, was this 24 years? How many kids born after 2000 are as Street Fighter aware? Do you think it's still... There's new Street Fighter games out. I mean, I guess out. you got the, I mean, the, 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 the Capcom, the versus games, you know, it's... Street Fighter versus Capcom versus Marvel versus DC. Okay, like versus I, I Duck Man. Like I, you know, it, 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 so. if, so, if somebody does like a Pong joke, we weren't alive when Pong came out, but we know what it is. I was, and we know it. I yeah, was two true. years old, but but I mean, but you know what <laughs> we I mean. We played it's not, Pong. We had the Atari. Okay, but not we're like, older than you. Think. No, no, I mean like the arcade game, like you know, for like the first arcade game, you know, Pong, and that was like a huge deal. It's like we know. Yeah. You know the attraction to him we get when yes. people are like let's play I'm, pong i'm not up on what the pong. kids are doing nowadays but, and all the hip and the portlandia and the <laughs> but it, it's pretty obvious now that everything is retro you know yeah. i mean retro i'm just curious just i'm not talking about uh, okay like kids are you know guys are about 20 i'd say even like in high school now but i'm talking about like 10 year olds watching this show are they street fighter aware do they have it, 80s awareness it, like, it, even if not or 90s it's, early 90s awareness <clears throat> even if not I'm just it's, curious, a video like, it's a video game character that yeah. like that looks similar to the ones they may play on like their phones or something no like i mean that. i so personally think idea. it's really really cool and i'm just wondering if because I, I honestly don't know i don't talk to children i don't walk up to them on the street and go <laughs> do you play street fighter <laughs> do you play street fighter 2 do you remember how cool that was so I did once, the judge said never again, and that's why I have to wear this ankle bracelet. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, so I was just curious, like, because it's obviously that was aimed more at us, which is what I like about shows like this, but mm. I think what makes it work is that it's still legitimately funny on its own. Yeah, it's so, But I was just curious. It's funnier if, like, if you, you know. know. Um, but my guess is but most, kids can catch My on. guess is most people watching the vlogs are either in high school or above. I don't know how many 10-year-olds are going to chime in and be like, I'm... I know what that is. <laughs> There's been one or two I've met at cons. I'm always kind of like, listen, you're, you're a sweet kid and everything, but you shouldn't be watching me. <laughs> it, you, you need a better sensor or something. You realize <laughs> if the MPAA could rate the internet, we'd be a triple X. Right? Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, so <laughs> even that triple X would still be on, like the low end of internet ratings. Yeah, triple X would be your R. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they'd, they'd have to come up with like you know a dodecagon X or something. <laughs> so. um... Yeah, oh, and the message, by the way, you thought I forgot, is, uh, sorry, Dipper, our Wendy's in another castle. Which, again, how many kids would get? I think they would. I, I guess I, I Well, think... if you play Super Mario Brothers, I think the last time they did that joke was Super Mario Brothers 3, I think though, and that because, came in okay, Because our generation is so obsessed with this retro media, and even the generation... We'll make after, our kids no, appreciate it, it. No, 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 it kind of, it, we're going to talk about it anyway, and it's still no, in our true. media so much, so it's like, you kind of can't escape it. We're forcing them to enjoy it. Yeah, kind of. They'll get these references, because we'll pound it in them. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. This is the episode I got my brother into it, and uh, I said, man, you gotta see this, at least this one episode. And, and I uh, was ruined for life. But that's okay, because I had the ultimate revenge. Twin cyst. Twin cyst. Motherfucker. <laughs> so, see you next time for more Twin cyst in Cool Whip. <laughs>